Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at this particular derivative. If the function y is equal to the natural log of x quantity squared, how do we take the derivative? Well, there's several ways in which we can go about it. Let's try method one where we're going to make a substitution. We're going to let u equal the natural log of x. Let's see what happens when we do that. So now we have y is equal to u squared. And so now when we take the derivative, dy dx, notice that it's the derivative of y with respect to x, even though we have a u variable and we have to take that into account. So this is going to be equal to 2u, but now we also have to multiply that times the derivative of u with respect to x, which is times du dx, like this. Now, du dx, well, if u is equal to natural log of x, that means from here that du dx must be equal to 1 over x. Obviously, when u is equal to natural log of x, the derivative of that is equal to the derivative of this, which is 1 over x. And since u is equal to, where are we here? Right here, the natural log of x. Now let's make those two substitutions and see what we get. So this becomes equal to 2 times. Instead of u, we're going to write the natural log of x. And instead of du dx, we're going to write 1 over x. So simplified, this is equal to 2 over x times the natural log of x. And this will then be the derivative of our original function. Now we could have also gone ahead and done what we call brute force straight through using what we call the, hmm, what method would we say? The chain method. So let's try that. So again, we're going to write as method 2. We'll start with the function y is equal to the quantity, the natural log, squared. Now we take the derivative of that, so we say dy dx is equal to, using the chain rule, we write 2 times the quantity, the natural log of x to the first power, times the derivative, what's inside the parentheses. And of course, the derivative of natural log of x, well, that has to be equal to 1 over x. And so when we simplify that, we end up with 2 over x times the natural log of x, which is the exact same as we got over here. So you can see there are a number of different techniques you can employ. Usually you'll get the same answer, barring any errors that we might make. And that's how it's done.